We're at the naturopath's office this morning. Naturopath means the uh, any solution to the challenge would be completely natural, which is exactly up our alley. Good morning, y'all. So I was confirming with a naturopathic friend of mine here in Cuenca. A lot of things that I've understood for many years, several decades. But of course, it's always nice to get a little bit more insight. I got that today in the form of a suggestion of a local herb tea. Uh, this is not the tea you buy at the store. It's in the little baggies. This is the actual herb, much stronger to help with the sleep. And some relax relaxation exercises, which we're gonna do. This construction has got this this place really messed up. It just occurred to me today that uh, I woke up at 3 o'clock, 3 a.m. last night, and Angie said, "Well, you fell asleep at at nine. You woke up at three. That's a whole six hours, and that sounds okay, right? Oh, hey, that's." Six hours that's not so bad but what's not understood is that's only six hours that the night the night before you only got five and a half hours so you lost so you're losing two hours a day and then the night before that you lost, you know and then the night before that so you've got a cumulative deficiency here and we've got some Eastern I don't I'm not a meditation person but he gave us some techniques that would uh, Help us fall asleep to clear, clear your mind. Calming, calming yes, thank you. Breath. Alex, thank you. Calming. Some calming techniques for when you can't sleep. So between that and the tea, we'll see what happens. First exercise, you breathe in, then breathe out fast, but then hold your breath and move your abdomen in and out nine times. So it's, and that's it. So I've got them all on tape. The cumulative effects are the, are the biggest problem of the uh, def sleep deficiency. No, I am distracted. <laughs> so the cumulative deficiency, which means ongoing deficiency, is what, what makes a chronic, chronic nutritional deficiency. Eventually, your body, you start getting in such a state where eventually it breaks down. And I imagine it's the same thing with the lack of sleep. It's a serious matter. I've always rubbed shoulders with naturopaths, and it's always very refreshing. Now what does this do, Bev? This relaxes the brain. This is going to help him sleep. Mm -hmm. This is going to help him sleep. It relaxes the brain. What's it called? Brain Tillet 2. Huh. Uh, Brain Dynamics is the company that makes it. I think the chair you're sitting in would put me to sleep. It looks really comfy. <laughs> yeah. It is. Can put these in your ear. Oh, yeah. Now the volume to that is here. Okay. So if you want to turn it up and down. Yeah, we have to be really quiet. Frank is listening to some really relaxing. me to sleep and then the next day I'm really nice <laughs> are you yes. falling asleep <laughs> she's very nice it's amazing when you get your rest out uh, yeah. I'm a better person you can be I know that I have a tough time being on camera some days because I'm just so out of sleep you, know? you seem really relaxed right now this you should try it next okay so here's a great tip uh, when I first got down here I had a guy that was uh, seemed pretty outgoing and adventurous. He decided when he first got down here he was how he was gonna get to know the city 
was he just was going to get on a bus, city bus, not tourist bus, city bus. Just ride a few buses. I thought that was pretty adventurous of him. When I first got down here, just to see, here's the tip. Here it comes. Don't assume anything. <laughs> Don't assume anything. I, I know you already know this rule in life anyway in general. What it really means is don't expect things to be a certain way unless you're going to assume they're going to be the complete opposite of what you originally had assumed. Example, uh, I thought, well, here, I'll get on a bus. Didn't speak any Spanish, know how to ask. I had to learn that stuff later. I got on the bus. I was expecting that I could get on the bus and it would make a full circle and come back where I got on. Okay, that's an expectation, an assumption. Wrong. I ended up in a mountain somewhere. I was in, started out in Cuenca. So I thought, okay, well, if it doesn't come all the way back, at least I'll jump over to the other side of the street. So it goes all the way up in the mountains when I realized I, I needed to do something like get off. The bus just stops and sits there and the bus driver's leaving and it's like, what the, you know, what, 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 <laughs> you know. Remember, I just got here, I don't speak Spanish and I mean, I don't know where, up in the hills, no clue how to get back, not very many taxis around. I asked the bus driver, because I, I practiced a couple of words like return before getting on the bus. And he said, no, this is the end of the route. But fortunately, I was able to get on the other side of the street and uh, go back. But uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, if you're adventurous and you want to uh, get on a bus, don't expect uh, anything. I, I incorrectly assumed that it would just do a full route and go a full circle. And instead, he just, he just stopped. I determined after that experience, and here's the... Uh, the real nugget. I determined after that experience that I would learn how to talk to the bus driver. <laughs> Even if it's in a limited way, like, does this bus go here? Uh, and they're always very helpful because I always say buenos dias and all that. Yeah, after five years, I'm in the habit of saying buenos dias now. <laughs>